what time it is. We back. It's Hype City. We in the building with my man. We knew each other for a long time since we was little kids. We did the skateboarding shit with the rap shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, he was the first guest when Hype City started. Right. Now he the first guest when we revamp and we get on this new wave. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Screw tape, you know what I mean? Bro, it's only right. It's definitely, only right. Definitely, I love man. it. I love it. We had an undisclosed location, but like I said, you see all the the uh, accolades and all the, yeah. the the albums and the vinyls you've been on. I like to curate my space, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, that's some of the projects I've been fortunate enough to be a, a part of. Uh, you know, shout out to uh, Malik B from the Roots right. and Mr. Green with the Live from the Streets project and the fucking Snow Goons and Adlib, Venomous, Born Unique. Do you think uh, skateboarding brought you to hip hop? One hundred percent, man. You know this. Um, I always call that shit the fifth element. When I met you and when I used to skate with my little crew, I used to say, like when I skated with Screw, I used to be like, that dude is super good. Every time I see him, I'm like, man, like how you are with rappers. Uh-huh. That's how you was with the skate, the, mm-hmm. the pros and all the people. Yep. So I'm like. Uh, you know yeah, what? Yeah. He, I was like, yo, he's super nice with it. But I always say to people, when they's like, how'd you get in the rap? I say, skate videos. Yeah, <laughs> big, <laughs> big, no, that's how, big that's how I learned right about there. so much yo, hip hop from skate videos. One hundred percent. They not only were they playing hip, they were playing all sorts of shit. It was yeah, fucking yeah. all crazy types of music on there. But the hip hop they were playing, yeah, was cra- It was, it was everything from Biggie. I got a story to tell. To <laughs> Company Flow. Super underground artifacts, artifacts. Tim, <laughs> Tim O'Connor's <laughs> part. So he knows I Tim know O'Connor's what? part and fucking Eastern Exposure, yeah. some skate video that like motherfuckers would pass around like the killer tape. Yeah. Like you feel me? Like yo, you got my four one one skate video? <laughs> nah, the, the VCR ain't that shit. Well, you gonna have to run me a fucking well, yeah, yeah, my money. Fuck me up, I man. Need that's that, my I need that like, thirty dollars. Yeah. it was like thirty. Or Bro, something. it was you know, it, and that was that's those were the keepers of the culture. Like the fucking the skate videos had all the streetwear in it. That's why I was yeah. looking at how dudes was dressing in the fucking in the skate videos and how, yeah, like they, the type it, every, of like, everywhere had Kareem Campbell style. had the tongues popping out and the fucking you know what is I'm it, saying where the sneaker culture came from too from my and where I where I feel justified in being a fucking sneaker fiend is c- coming from that era of DC, looking through DC, CCS yeah. skate magazines and being like yo those those fucking Eric Costas oh, are God's fire yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. Just check out these Sal Barbiers with the right, fucking twenty threes. You know I mean? He knows. He knows exactly what I'm talking <laughs> about when I'm saying this shit. A lot of you people watching don't know anything of what I'm no, saying they're right not, now. They're not on the on. They they on the skateboard. Cut we, the fucking <laughs> camera. I right, hold on. <laughs> right, right, these there, are the, um, them. the JSV Josh Kalises. Oh, the Kalises, yeah. The fucking Stevie Williams. You know he was the founder of Dirty Ghetto Kids, uh, DGK. Right. But was like. Crazy, crazy influential to me. And if you notice, all like the the um, Aesop Rocky when he designed his sneaker, this yeah. shit looked exactly like, like a fucking um, yeah, it looked like an Osiris skate sneaker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the Louis Vuitton sneakers and all the different shit look like old skate yeah. sneakers. Yeah. Now I'm not gonna lie, skate sneakers took their inspiration from shit like Air Max Ones and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Right. Rest in peace, Pepe yeah. Martinez. He was skating yeah. fucking Timberlands and, and shell tops <laughs> and fucking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's you'd see it on a four on one skate video and be like, How the fuck is he doing? Who that? is this bull? Yeah, like, and, and so you know, once again, it kind of like created this culture of cool. I think skateboarding just kind of lent itself to like the hip hop. Um, Mind frame, you know what I mean? Just being like, it goes hand in hand. Like I said, it it was back to like the whole street life shit. Like, you're spending countless, countless, countless hours in the fucking street, skating, talking to homeless people, fucking literally running from police. Like, if you were skating, yeah, Yeah, like, and and they weren't kind to you. They weren't like, just hey, get fuck out of here. You know, they fucking slam your ass down to the fucking if you're in fucking love the park park, anywhere. You know, city hall anywhere. They're not fucking uh, playing around. At that time, for whatever reason, they were yeah, definitely they were like, yeah. yeah, they was on some shit. They were definitely on some shit, because, not gonna lie, we weren't all the best of apples, if you, you no, know what I'm saying? Like, we were, we, we was, we was, we, we, we knew we were breaking laws, yeah, we were breaking laws, laws we were shit, vandalizing yeah. shit. That was my introduction <laughs> to graffiti. Right. That was my introdu- introduction to smoking and drinking. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, when, when, when we're talking about, uh, you know, who, who, who really, you know, w- was off the porch and came outside. And when guys are talking about their stripes in the in, in the streets and shit, yeah. like, and I look back and they, you may 
like smirk and laugh like he talking about skateboarding and he yeah, yeah, talking yeah. about tough but like I don't know. I wouldn't want to run across no. us, our gang of folk Man, back yeah. when we were running around in the you catch a truck to a the truck face. To the <laughs> so like when I think about some of the craziest stories of my life and just some of the people I met through skateboarding Definitely. and just like once I said once again the the music that it introduced me to and the type of um, creativity that it, that it brought out in me and watching yeah. it and trying to be one and do you know all that. It, you know what I'm saying? I gotta give it its credit. Part of hip hop is is fashion. It had its fashion from you know Zoo from, York. From, from, from I had Zoo a crazy York. ass Zoo York windbreaker. But people back in the still, day, it was coveted. <laughs> you feel me? It was coveted by my but, fucking by my friends. People seen some young kid he had Zoo York going. And I asked him. I said, "What you know about that?" He's like, "Oh, I just like this joint." Exactly. Like, it's like, like yeah, that's like, like an iconic. Like yeah, it's like an iconic you know, skate company, skate man. Right. Like you know, right? They don't remember all the shit, but it's crazy that you know you came from that and the hip hop with the skating being from Jersey like you have a big Philly presence like you know well, we like, gotta talk about what part of Jersey we from well, we from South Jersey yeah. close to Philly but you know in the time right when now, we was doing it yeah. they wasn't showing us no love nah, you yeah. say Jersey they was like Right, right, right. Looking right, like, right. hold up. Even on South Street, on? I'm over at Suplex, <laughs> and they still, they still kind of joke with me, and the, and they'll see some when somebody's b- riding down South Street, bumping their music all out, kind of like on some newbie shit. Yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. oh, he must be from Jersey. Like he just <laughs> he think he cool, fucking driving around. With it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So I'm going and doing shows in Philly, where like I'm being invited to little open mics at Temple University, or like Voltage Lounge be doing little shows yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. This was. Way back yeah, with like right. lyrically fits and like different little showcase shows and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where somehow my name got around and people would hit me up to go do them. But even before that was, I think that's why they thought I was nice. Was up in North Jersey was doing. I was yeah, doing yeah, shit yeah. Up you with, was doing a lot. Of, yeah, I was doing a lot of shows up there. up there. So they weren't an easy crowd. It, it was a lot of love, but it was they like was a New York hella crowd skilled. Yeah, yeah, everyone yeah, was. Yeah. Hella, Everybody was nice. Hella up nice and skilled. So it was a real. That was a really good place for me to cut my teeth actually because they they accepted me. And they made me nice enough to where I when I stood in front of the Philly crowd who was like who the Jersey ball, who they gave you know respect. yeah they were like oh all right where are you from yeah. hey, what part of Jersey are you from you from Camden you know what I mean like that's what I would always get the guys that was like in place in Philly Shame. accepted me yeah they you know they showed love Reef the Lost Call shout out to him he kind of opened a lot of doors brought me on stage a few times and shit like that can we talk about how the the, the cosign in hip hop is such a huge yeah. huge it's thing big, and we know that obviously but. It really is. You probably still got millions of verses you got to finish probably for features. You ever see that meme with the dude who says un- it's unfinished songs and it's a backpack and it's like fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah, big as hell. It's just giant behind him. Right. He's just carrying around his backpack. That's me. It came to me the other day that I saw it in like a meme or some dumb shit. Momentum comes easier than motivation. Right. And that shit is so true. Right, definitely. I noticed that when I got... I just had dropped this classic video. You just see the little social media response you get, the homies hitting you up, like, oh, the video's crazy. The momentum, yeah, it's just like, yo, oh, yeah, I do this. I forgot. (laughs) I got to keep going. Like, yeah. Because I'll just, whatever, forever to shit sometimes. So you got um, a new video out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Produced by Neff. Right. um, Who uh, Ryan Thomas just did a whole EP with. And, uh, you know, he fucks around with Static Selector. Yeah. He's working with all sorts of artists, though. Every, like, Week it seems like he's got. Yeah, yeah he's um, doing his thing. Yeah, exactly. Shot by Wayne Campbell. Shout out to Wayne Campbell. Virtuoso, a motherfucking virtual. <laughs> that dude can do damn near anything, and I appreciate him, man. He's definitely, a good, he's a big he, dude. he definitely South Jersey. Yeah, uh, yeah. Again, I, you know, they you know they won't they won't understand it until it's gone. Yeah. I was just saying the other day that I think it might have been the drug. Fucking uh, hip hop journalism is so important. Like without people. Telling the story of yeah, the yeah. background of this, uh, you know, shout out to Rich Quick. That's why he was dope to yeah, me. He to used to Quick. fill me in on all the fucking culture, on all the little shit I missed. He would be like, "Yo, nah, that's Slaughter Rico, bro. You ain't know about him. This is why he's dope. X Y Z. You know, right. oh no, nah, this is Rain Man. Fuck it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This is shout out to people like him and yourself and people that like put the pieces together. Yo, I thank you, man, for your time, bro. I mean, let's roll another one. Definitely. You rocking with Hype City? Shout out to y'all, love y'all. Oh.